Wi-Fi radio resource management refers to changing access points parameters, such as transmission power and channelization to improve the Wi-Fi performance. Currently, Unify does not offer automatic, real-time radio resource management. However, we can manually set these parameters, so should we do so? The answer may be obvious to many, but I wanted to test myself rather than just take word for it. So today, I'm sharing my personal home experience of changing Unify access point radio resource management parameters at my home using 3U7 Pro setup and compare the throughput performance difference in various areas of my home. This will not give you optimal parameter setup for your setting, and performance gain or perhaps loss would also be different than mine. However, I hope these tests give you what proper RRM can potentially give you. Let's get started. Being non-Wi-Fi professional, I interpret radio resource management for Wi-Fi as simple as change some parameters so we can get better performance, including better throughput, latency, and roaming. Properly choosing setup parameters are particularly important when we have more than one access points under our control. In fact, I personally think picking optimal radio resource management parameters are a very difficult task, and what's optimal changes time to time. So to me, it is important to avoid improperly configuring access point setting, so I won't do harm within my network. For the purpose of today's testing, I have used followings. 3 Ubiquiti Unify U7 Pro. Additionally, to obtain radio resource management parameters, I have used 3 HP Aruba AP555 setup and Rukus Unleashed setup using 1R750 and 2R650s. Both of these gears are enterprise graded Wi Fi 6 systems and have built in automatic radio resource management. For each brand setup, three access points were placed similarly in my home. All four access points have fairly similar EIRP. As a testing client device, I have used iPhone 14 Pro Max, which is Wi-Fi 6 2x2 client. For the testing method, I've used OpenSpeedTest, which is running on local NAS server. The wire link bottleneck in this setup is connection between access point to Unify XG 6PoE switch, which is 2.5 gears per second link. For the purpose of this test, I have used 5 GHz radio because I do not have 6 GHz capable access point from other brands to obtain enterprise level radio resource management setting parameters. I have chosen 5 areas in my home for data recording points. This is to save me time for not doing in every room in my home, but also hoping to give the relative trend rather than depending on one or two spots. Each of these areas were picked to simulate different Wi-Fi environment in my home. On the ground level, I measured throughput in living room and family room corner. One of the access points is wall mounted in the family room, but it's facing opposite direction than where I took my measurement. So the spot I took my measurement is not actual max throughput as it is taken real low of the access point, but nonetheless, it is in the same room, so expect relatively high performance. Living room is the area two access points can compete with high signals. There is one wall mounted access point sitting right below in basement level. But also, there is a wall mounted access point facing this direction in kitchen, where it has to penetrate through a relatively thick kitchen wall. In basement, I picked three spots. The office room is located right beneath the family room. Basement bathroom is one of the Wi-Fi poor spots in our home, especially with the door closed. With some of my previous setup, I had times when no Wi-Fi connection. This area receives low Wi-Fi signal from two access points, one from entertainment zone facing opposite direction, but located on the same floor, and the other located in family room facing toward this direction, but on the floor above. In fact, in each of three systems, I have observed roaming in this spot. Lastly, guest bedroom is the opposite end of my home, 
which is surrounded by concrete and brick walls, so another Wi-Fi unfriendly area in our home. To obtain radio resource management setting parameters, I have set auto on both Aruba and Ruka setup, one at a time and waited at least 24 hours for each setup to settle. Since both systems have automatic radio resource management, and they continuously monitor and adapt to their transmission power and channels. Once they look to have stabilized, I have recorded their transmission power and channels for each access point. For the purpose of this test, I measured open speed test results with following U7 Pro access point settings. First, started out with U7 Pro using Rukus radio resource management settings and recorded data in five spots, as mentioned earlier. Then, changed to default, which is auto on power, auto on channelization, channel width has manually set to 80 MHz on 5 GHz radio. Each access point were restarted. With the latest version of a Unify network controller and access point firmware, Unify access points supposed to pick on channel and transmission power upon booting but otherwise it will not change these parameters unless you click optimize channelization. Next, to ensure no other confounding factors playing a significant role, I have reapplied the original Rukas radio resource management setting back to each of U7 access points and measured data again. All these were done within about hour total time back to back. On another day, I have applied HP Aruba radio resource management setting to U7 Pro and recorded these data. The default radio resource management for my home chose same channels for all three access points at max transmission power, which is not shown in this picture. I try to hit off my button to see if it does anything, but still remain the same. For the simplicity, let's start looking at Aruba radio resource management setting applied to U7 Pro. Here are configuration based on HP Aruba setting. They have changed transmission power and channels. HP Aruba actually choose DFS channel, but when I picked those on U7 Pro, the result were abysmal, so I chose non-DFS, but keeping high and low band relationship. The transmission power here are based on ERP matching, so with U7 Pro having 6 dBm antenna power, actual ERP are transmission power plus 6 on each. Blue is automatic setting of U7 Pro. Green is U7 Pro's with Aruba RRM parameters apply. Lastly, as for reference, red is HP Aruba AP555 AP setup test result. If we look at relative gain or loss of throughput in respect to auto setting, it will look like this. What data shows is other than in family room corner where there were 17% throughput loss from auto setting, everywhere else had either the same or improved throughput in download with max gain as high as 46% in living room. For the upload, the relative change looked far more significant. In couple areas, over 250% of gain, but three areas show throughput loss as big as 86%. Next, let's take a look at applying Rukus radio resource management parameters. Rukus kept max transmission power and just changed channels. On the Rukus, I have specifically set to avoid DFS, so their channels are indeed non-DFS. As a reminder, this part of the test, I did Rukas RRM parameter setting first, then auto and back to RRM setting. Here, other than small dip of 4% on first Rukas radio resource management setting in the guest room on download, both first and second Rukas radio resource management setting on the U7 Pro consistently either matched or exceeded original auto setting. Similar to Aruba, uploading change here are relatively much bigger in scale than the download. Now let's see what I learned from these test results. 
The key take-home message for me from current test is the confirmation of picking right radio resource management parameters have significant impact on Wi-Fi performance. From more relevant throughput for most of us, the download side, today's test showed some areas over 50% throughput gain. For many home settings, such degree of gain could be bigger than buying new access point or newer generation Wi-Fi access point, especially if you only had a handful of clients supporting the latest standard. While both Aruba and Rukus Radio Resource Management improved overall performance on U7 Pro when compared to its auto setting, each system picked significantly different parameters, and in this case, Rukus Radio Resource Management parameters applied to U7 Pro looked better. The difference in radio resource management parameters come from variations in vendor's algorithm and hardware specifications. In fact, even the same setup, whether HP Aruba or Rukus, if I rooted each system, they could converge to different parameter combinations. So, take home here is one size does not fit all. Specifically, from a unified user's perspective, what this tells me is my test results are unlikely to be the optimal setting for 3U7 Pro at my home. There is highly likely another set of parameters that could potentially improve U7 performance. Another thing I have learned from today's test is that despite there were rarely 30 minutes or so between the first Rukus radio resource management setting to the second reapplication of the same setting, the throughput were quite different in characteristics. As far as I can tell, there were no significant difference in my home Wi-Fi use during these test points, such as no new streaming or active file transfer. So it could be due to my neighbor Wi-Fi interference, or maybe other Wi-Fi devices doing background data transfers, but that would be limited to IoT devices. Whatever the cause is, it shows Wi-Fi is truly dynamic, and another reason why optimization at one instant may not necessarily be another moment. First and foremost, this tests were done in just one residential home environment. So it is far from a controlled environment, hence there were viability in throughput even run with the same parameters. Second is that despite I am using U7 Pro, I didn't really test 6 GHz throughput because I don't have other vendors access point that are capable of doing automatic radio resource management in 6 GHz. The third limitation is, I'm not listing roaming capability here. While I have run into roaming issue on certain setup, to fix roaming, there are additional parameters we need to play with, such as minimum RSSI, data rate control value, so I believe it requires different setup to test. In conclusion, today's test confirms choosing proper radio resource management parameters could have significant impact on home Wi-Fi network performance. And sadly, Unify's auto setting may not be sufficient for some. I like to emphasize to the people not mistaking this test result as saying Aruba or Rukus has better throughput than Unify. While I put those data for reference, the radio resource management parameters come from each vendor optimized for their own system. Unify just does not offer that for us. So we have to find the optimum setting manually and we all know using optimal setting from the other vendor would never be optimal for Unify. So even though some may look certain data points and try to compare one system from the other, these tests are not tailored for that. One thing I truly hope Unify will provide someday is the automatic dynamic radio resource management. Thanks for watching.